Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Die a Happy Man as recorded by Thomas Rhett on guitar. Now in this lesson, I'm going to focus more on the main electric guitar part that uses some cool rhythm guitar style fills, some double stops, and some Hendrix style thumb chords. And we're going to go through the whole tune that way. Now you could always take that fancier part and just par it down to just the basic chords like D, B minor, G, D, but I'm going to be showing you a more note for note electric guitar part. Before we jump in, I want to hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack, and this is going to make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So check that out at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Die a Happy Man as recorded by Thomas Rhett on guitar. Now we're going to start off with this main electric guitar part that just goes through a little two bar chord progression that repeats. Now this is used for the intro and it's also used for the verse. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> So we're basically going between a D to a B minor and then a G to a D. Those are the basic chords that you can play. Now if you want to do a more note for note guitar part to the recording, it goes like this. That's our little pickup there. So we're starting on the fifth fret of the fifth string, doing a little hammer to seven, then pluck it again and slide up to nine. Then grab these two notes, this is a double stop here, on the seventh fret of the fourth and third strings. Then you drop your hand on the strings, and I a lot of times hit the, the low string with my thumb, and you get this backbeat sort of feel, and that's going to go throughout on beats two and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three and four and so you're gonna hammer slide double stop slap then we go to a B minor thumb chord here and do a little hammer on this is thumb on the low E string seventh fret then you have that same double stop but now we're gonna hammer to the ninth fret on the fourth string so It's a real cool sound, like going from a D to a B minor. Then you hit the bass note, then you do the slap on beat four. So three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and. Then you go from a G shape to a D shape like this. Here we're gonna go. That's one and two and three and four and again the slaps on two and four and changing to the D on the and of two one and two and three and four and so so far then we stay on the shape we go one and two and three and four and so we're gonna do a little bit of finger picking we're gonna pinch strings five and two then play the third string and I'm holding down a D bar chord here then slap B minor 11 that's one and two and three and four and so that's pinching on this B minor 11 shape, I'm pinching the low E in the second string. Then play the third string, then slap. So one and two and three and four and. Again, if you're having trouble, click the link below where you can get the handout. So all together, three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then we 
tie in G to D again. One and two and three and four. And that's the whole thing. And you repeat. Right? And you can just take that, learn as much of it note for note as you can, and then just know that you're going like D to B minor, then G to D. That's the chord progression. But you can kind of see how the guitarist is spicing it up with this, you know, kind of arpeggio picking and hammer-ons and little single note lines and things like that that just create an interesting rhythm part. From there, we go to the pre-chorus. So here I'm going E minor 7 to D over F sharp, G to D. Then again, E minor 7, D over F sharp, this time G to A. Then we go into the chorus. Now the chorus is where the lyrics go, and if I never get to see the northern lights, we've got two bars of a chord progression that repeats. It's gonna go like this. We've got a B minor chord. This is from the fifth string down. Two, four, four, three. That lasts for one bar. One, two, three, four. Then go to G to D. Now this G that I'm playing is just a two finger G. Play it all the time. I'm muting the fifth string and the first string. One and two and three, then to D. Syncopated. One and two and three and four, then again. B minor, two and three and four and one and two. Right? Then we go back, re we repeat everything again. Now later in the song, we get to the last section, the bridge, and that goes like this. Alright, so we've got an eight bar progression here. We start on a G, and each chord lasts one bar. One, two, three, four, then go to G minor, two, three, four, then D. Now I'm playing that G minor with my thumb. You can play it like that if you want, I just like these thumb chords. Two, three, four, then D, B minor, then again, G. Same thing, G minor, D, and then we finish on an A, Then we go back to the chorus. Congrats on making it through this Thomas Rhett lesson. Be sure to rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear, and then try and piece it together, just connecting one part into the next and play it along with the recording. And to help you on your way, be sure to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So check that out at the first link down below. Also, let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.